Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Blue Dragon Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. And man, <laughs> what an ending to Disc 2, eh? Now, to ensure that none of the cutscene gets missed, I want to just go ahead and load up the game on the actual LP. I think this just straight up starts with... A cutscene. I think. We're gonna find out! How's everybody's day? Mine was terrible. I worked for six hours before I got my first break. Oh, hey, there we go. But it was just a dream. She was okay. Item. Although things are looking a little bit worse for wear. Item. Still wearing that collar. Metal. Nothing. I see you're awake. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you slept so well. You've been out for three days. Three days! Did you know you were asleep for that long? Three days? I found you lying unconscious near the village. What about my friends? Oh, they're already awake, dear. I saw them in the plaza earlier. They were very worried about you because you didn't wake up. As a matter of fact, the young girl was even crying. In the plaza? Uh, you said this was a village. What's the name of this place? This is Devour Village. Well, I'm Shu from Talta Village. Thanks for helping me. Playable. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. I'm going to ransack your house now. Gold. Nothing. Got some nothings. Nothing. Another nothing. Item. Ooh. Nothing. Item. Ooh, Grand Light Crystal, Grand Magical Medicine. For a hovel, she's got pretty good nice stuff. Playable. Mm. 
Save point. Let's go save. There's stuff to poke. But we should still go save. Item. Hey, it's another miserable town that we've entered. Nene has probably made this place suck too. <sighs> Look at that, we don't have any MP. We don't have our shadow. This part of the game kind of sucks. I'm sorry, Salia. Is this the old woman's house? Is this where I came out of? No. This is a private domicile. think of which track it is, but this music reminds me of one of the towns in FF6. I don't know which one it is. Is it the place where you get the chainsaw? Somebody out there will know, and I will be reminded. <laughs> Item and accessory shop. Item. Hello. Hey, there they are. Guys. Guys, I'm alive. You're alive. Hey. We're all alive. Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Well, what about you? Kloop told me what happened. I'm okay. What about Zola? She isn't here? No. That's Zola for you. She probably made a clean escape. I'll bet she went back to King Gibral. She can take care of herself. I guess. Shu, how did this happen? How did we get away from Nene? wasn't a dream, was it? He was gonna crush us, wasn't he? It wasn't a dream. Jiro, do you remember when Nene called us vessels? Yes, I remember that all right. Those light spheres that we swallowed were actually Nene's soul. I'm guessing the reason he was having us use magic was so that it would develop and nourish his soul. And that was in order to cure the rapid aging disease he has. Jiro did a good job of putting that all together. This act ...to make it seem like he was killing us, so we would grow the resolve to not give up. But the reason he did this was so that we built up the magic. So, we can't use magic anymore? If he doesn't need us, then why are we still wearing these collars? But... I used magic. What? what? It was so intense, I wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew it was magic. That's what allowed us to escape. Mm. Oh. Yeah. At the time, I thought we should all just run away. Can you believe I actually thought something like that? You gave up? That's not like you! Yeah, I know. I gave up. Jiro, I think I finally understand. 
giving up or running away isn't always a bad thing. I mean, not if we live to fight another day. It's just all part of the bigger plan, you know? I realize that I won't give up is not always the answer. Join. All right. Party's back together. Except for Zola. Uh, we don't have anything for white barriers. Let's go ahead and investigate this town. See what can be done. It looks like Jiro and Kluk still have some of their magic. Or no, they just have MP. Oh, you know what it probably is? They're wearing accessories. That's probably what it is. Nothing's, nothing's everywhere. Lady is depressing. This old town is depressing. stuff oh it's so expensive no not really Gold. there's a skill on the assassin shadow class that cuts the cost of stores in half I do. we don't have our shadows right now We need any items actually. We are we have so many items. This sounds like last words. We're gonna check. <laughs> I don't want to be wrong about this, you know. We're good. <laughs> okay, it looks like I did miss a chest. There's a chest, and it looks like a warp device over here. Quit making freaky noises, you stupid tree. Chest? Chest? Chest might be inside. Oh, I already checked the chest, didn't I? Where I, I checked a chest. You can hear the wind in the branches, making the leaves rustle, right? I hate that sound. Sounds like that tree is saying it's hungry. There's a reason the town is called Devour. We... wait, spell shop? Okay, so the inn, this is the inn. This is a house. Don't go to the square. Definitely don't go near the tree that grows there. It will devour you. Near the forest, either. Okay, don't go near anything. Touch nothing. Do nothing. Gold. Nothing. Don't 
go near the forest, you'll regret it. Metal. Got some metals. Scared some bats. A private house. Okay. Item. Item. Yeah, books! Velon the wizard, we haven't heard from him in a while. He could not as Bah. He could not accept his handyman-like status in the village, for he had not endured ten hard years of training to gain his magic powers. So Valon told the wizards... planning on it, actually. <laughs> In that I have already started keeping everything you own as a memento. Or just because. Nothing. Ooh, you know what? What does our formation look like? Cloak and Jiro are still going to have, like, miserable, miserable defense, I think. What are we looking at? 151, 165, 170. Or I'm wrong. Or I'm dead wrong. Everybody to the front. I've changed my mind. There's the warp device. I never noticed that you actually get a little key that does go in there. Alright. didn't work either. No way! How can a tree be stronger than an axe? Something's wrong here! Yes, something is wrong with this entire village. Huh? Those trees keep us trapped in here. Keep you trapped? Yes, that's right. We are its food. There is a flesh-eating tree in the middle of our village. A flesh-eating tree? You guys couldn't have shown up in a worse place for a rescue. So, tell me, where did you come from, anyway? I know that guy's voice, I just don't know what from. Whoa. That's what we'd like to know. It's too bad. You've had a terrible twist of fate. The flesh-eating trees are horrible. Three or four times a year, they grab one of us to eat. If we try to leave, the other trees block the way. If we try to chop them off, well, you saw what happened. Huh? Could it be? Is Nene doing this? Who else? Join. <clears throat> Shall we try taking on the tree? Let's save first, shall we? That 
is the beginning of the disc. Let us correct that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You mean like this? Be careful! Don't go near that thing! But this is the flesh-eating tree, right? We gotta get rid of it! No, you can't! Shoo! We have no magic, remember? We're unarmed. Maybe I can do it. Why? You couldn't do it before! I did it when I fought Nene. Maybe I can do it again! Ow! <laughs> Damn! Eh. Take that! We got problems, Shu. That's okay. It's one of those fights. Oh, you're awake. You sure never give up on anything, do you? <clears throat> There is nothing to be done. We can only wait for that tree to wither and die. What else can we do? That tree has made us prisoners here. We just try to ignore it. Playable. All right. Let's head back out. Let's deal with this tree problem for reals this time. Somehow, maybe. <laughs> All right. Where did everybody go? You need to go to the inn. Do I? The girl you were with, she just collapsed, and they brought her inside. Cloak. Cloak? Luke, damn it. You're getting in the way of my tree killing. Wait, are you the inn? No, this is not the inn. This is the inn? No, you're not the inn either. This is the inn, the one with the sign. And the, it says inn on the door. Oh, it's you. You probably oh, it's me. heard, but she just collapsed and they brought her over here. She's in the back. You should go see her. Playable. Nothing. But first... Gold. The looting. Nothing. Metal. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Shu. Luke, she. Look, Luke. She has a high fever, and she's very restless. She's having bad dreams. Luke! Stay away! Why? Why are you always so mean? Stop! I 
think she's seeing Nene in her dream. You know, Kook hasn't said anything about that time at all. This stupid ring! It's not helping her! Don't! But this ring, it's not working! Listen to me. There's one thing Kloop told me about the time when she was captured by Nene. Mm? She said that because she had those rings, she was able to believe she'd be with us again. If we could just use magic! Think I'm supposed to come up here now? Checkpoint. Yes. monstrous tree ate them. They died trying to save me. Do you know how awful it is living as an orphan? To know your whole life that your parents died for you? I can't go on living like this. Yeah, but still. Please. You just got here, didn't you? You'll never understand. You don't know what it's like to live with that monster. There's nothing good here anymore. We just wait to be eaten. I'd rather be dead. I can't take living anymore. Would you just let me die? Hey, no way. I would destroy that thing. I would put an end to that monster tree. That's easier said than done. Oh, come on. Is it easy to throw away the life your parents died for? Do you think this would make them happy? Who cares? Just shut up! You think you're the only one whose parents were slaughtered by monsters? Who has to laugh when she'd rather cry? You're not the only one suffering! <sighs> oh, whoa. Didn't mean to preach. I know what you mean. I do. It's just... Oh, forget it. There's just no point anymore. I thought I had to save you, but okay. Whatever. I don't care if you want to throw it all away. I could never give up like that. But hey, that's just me, I guess. I'll never give up. I'm not gonna sit around here waiting to be eaten by some tree. I won't. I did it. Without the light sphere, I was able to.
Shu? What are you doing? Jiro, I'm going to get my magic back again. Yeah, but if you couldn't do it before... Back then, I didn't try hard enough. I don't think I truly believed in myself. But now I think I can do it. So why the change of heart? Because of her. Huh? This girl, she just tried to kill herself. What? It sucks to give up and die. It's easy to say, don't give up. But unless you turn those words into strength, you won't get strong. You can't even live. But now, after all we've been through, I know what it takes to say, I won't give up. We're, <laughs> we're in pretty good shape for this fight. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, here it is. Corporeal. This is the Blue Dragon version of a Limit Break. Enjoy, everybody. All the damage. Oh, and we hit rank 50. Shoo! Your magic. It really came back? Let's go. You think I can do that too? What are you guys? Professional problem solvers is what we are. <laughs> Luke! <gasps> it's back! My magic is back! Really? Huh? How? 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 Watch this! Whoa! It doesn't hurt anymore! Yeah, I feel a lot better. Was that magic power? Yep. How'd you do that, huh? How'd you do that? I just did it. 
turning into a bit of a longer episode, but let's go save now. And when we come back next time, we will take care of that mean old tree. Actually, let's take a look at our defense. Yeah, we're just going to stick them all in the back row. Shu is essentially going to be soloing this fight anyways. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. This is the Blue Dragon Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care.